Hey, what is going on YouTube? It's Andy CVPI and welcome back to another video about my project CVPI. Guys, as you can tell, the hood is already taped up and all ready to go. And let me tell you what's not gonna get repainted. The whole entire front hood not gonna get repainted. This whole little piece will not be repainted. And half of the bumper on this side where it was shipped, if you saw my other videos, is gonna get repainted. This half of the bumper is not gonna get repainted. And basically everything else I'm gonna be taping up still. I still have to tape up the whole entire front windshield, the spotlight, this door and the whole entire door trim and on the other side i have to tape up the door handles and then last not least the mirrors but basically the whole taping process is like seven to eight hours in total and basically when you open the doors you have to make sure to get all the way around and there so that way no paint gets on it when you're painting and this honestly took like 30 minutes each door trim not door trim i mean each door handle took about like 20 minutes too so it is a mission to cover up it and make sure nothing get no paint gets on it and it is a struggle and if you're wondering what those pink little spots are those are all the minor dents around this vehicle that were on this vehicle i should say and those just need to get west ended again and basically my dad is taking care of all the minor dents and my dad like i mentioned in my other video is going to be the one repainting the whole entire car but as far as the whole west ending process me and him split the west ending together in half and i'm the one doing all the taping as you can see the whole entire doors this side only one of the doors taped up and the door handles and of course I got the bumper because the bumper is also not going to get repainted because it's in alright condition and when I buff out the car after it's painted it's all going to blend perfectly fine. And I do want to say I did buy all the paint and I did buy all the primer and every single little thing I needed. Let me just go right into this little shed I have right here. It is really messy but right here I have the hardener, reducer and all the little cups to mix the paint but basically my dad is going to be doing this so I do want to thank him once again for going out and helping me with this car. But basically I did pay for that so don't think <laughs> as if I'm getting sponsored or anything I mean in the end I am gonna pay my dad a couple of bucks you know a couple hundred for helping me out with this car and painting it but basically as you can see the back bumper is not gonna get repainted the hood and half of the bumper is not gonna get repainted but everything else is gonna get repainted as you can see guys it's really messy it's really shitty but I am gonna have to clean this thing make sure you get all the dust off it and basically this door is set to go this door is set to go the whole entire door trim and everything is set to go the mirror is already set to go and last but not least i just have to get up to half of the bumper this little whole piece and basically still start painting it right away i'm gonna have my dad start painting it right away but it is going to be a mission still to cover up the front windshield and the spotlight and i'm not sure if i might just take it out for type for painting it actually because it's going to make the job much more easier and much more better for me and for my dad when we're dealing with this car and I do still have to do the door handles on this side, both of these, and last but not least, the back windshield. But I seriously cannot wait for the outcome of this car. I really hope it's going to turn out beautiful and perfect. And it is going to be a struggle once again because I do always cover it up because this car is being worked out outside. So I hate when it rains because then it pretty much it pretty much extends the time when I can't work on it when it's raining out. So I do have like this little cover that I put on this car every time I finish with it just in case if it rains or anything but the struggle is going to come in when the paint starts going on because if the paint starts going on it starts raining or it's going to be a shitty day like the following day then it is going to be a struggle so I'm hoping for to get like two days back to back where it's going to be really beautiful out and I also have to watch out for this tree that I have in my backyard in case some leaf or branch falls on it when my dad's going to be painting it because that's going to really mess up the whole entire purpose of the paint and we're going to have to pretty much go ahead and re-sand it and do all that again. So hopefully that does not happen. But basically the car is, like I mentioned, it's going to be the factory UA black, which Ford pretty much puts on all Crown Victoria that are black. Same exact paint. It is OEM paint, so therefore it does cost a lot. I bought a gallon of it, which is around like 180, pretty much with taxes like 200 and primer is like over 150. So it does cost a lot to repaint a car. And that's exactly why you could tell that shops do charge a lot for that. But once again, the side lights already off and this side I'm gonna have to go ahead and wet sand it and then basically just cover up from here to here, cover up this whole entire piece. And yeah, I'm so happy and I can't wait to do it. And basically I'm gonna have to cover up this tire and rim. And just like I did back there, that is also a mission to get on with the whole taping process and the wind blowing. So it is a struggle once again, but I'm not gonna complain. I'm gonna finish taping it up. And next progress video is probably gonna be one more progress video about how the whole car is turning out and how it's all perfect and the following video after that one's going to be pretty much the whole car beautifully repainted hopefully it turns out beautiful and once again i do want to say if you like this video please like 
and subscribe and make sure to stay tuned for more videos about my project CVPI. Thanks for watching guys.